Hi, everybody. Uh, this is Beth Riss from Ironton, Ohio. I think you can hear it's pouring the rain. Um, thank you for all the prayers and and uh, kind words. Um, I'm I'm getting better. Um, haven't quite figured out uh, what the problem was, but there's a lot of that respiratory uh, virus going on here in the local area. Um, I will be updating on uh, Skylar Corbin's case, uh, where he was uh, killed. Uh, by a deputy here um, after I get confirmation on updates and uh, I will also be covering everything I mentioned in the last video right now I want to talk a little bit about bullying um, how to know if your child is being bullied at school and the reasons why there is a bully okay um, if your child and yes I I have notes I'm, I'm not gonna memorize everything uh, act like I know everything. I don't want to speculate anything I say. I want to uh, give you uh, the correct information. So anyway, if, if your child in grade school, let's say in grade school, uh, comes home and uh, uh, normally would go to uh, uh, another child's birthday party or, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, reunion or anything like that and play with his cousins or her cousins or whatever... If they, if they want to avoid situations like that, they get a little anxious or they maybe get emotional, um, that's a red flag right there that something's going on that you're not aware of, okay? And then, um, if they act out of the ordinary, if they act out of the ordinary, like, uh, usually a child will, I don't have children, so I'm not a professional at that, um, but I, I have been around a lot of children and I've, uh, been around, uh, situations uh, while I, while in law enforcement, um, that you know, I've witnessed, but anyway, um, uh, acting out of the ordinary, like uh, maybe a short temper or um, uh, crying for no reason, and you don't know why. Um, you know, attention span is uh, lost. Uh, you find them uh, when they may be uh, focused. That you might be focusing on something that you think your child is focusing on, but you look over at them and they're, you know, in another world. Uh, that That is a, another red flag. And um, having a, a difficulty with normal activities. Um, um, parents, um, you need to recognize these red flags, okay? Now, if your child, and, and most bullying um, uh, takes place um, in the cafeteria, on the playground, in the halls, okay? Uh, most of it don't take place in the classroom where there's a teacher there. Now, you know, uh, I'm not going to give you any stats on that, but you know what I'm talking about. So anyway, um, what can you do uh, uh, about that? Um, well, um, set your child down and just gently start a conversation. Just start a conversation like, how was your day? Um, what'd you do today? Uh, who'd you talk to today? How uh, did you have any tests today? Just talk to your child and um, um, just avoid uh, direct confrontation. Um, don't don't uh, pepper them with questions or um, you know try to you know over talk them. Let them talk. Let your children talk and let them explain. Make sure you have let them know that it's a very relaxed and and they're with you. It's a safe environment for them to express themselves. If they can't talk to you, who can they talk to? Um, uh, stay connected to your child. I mean, uh, uh, you know, talk to them. Uh, you know, when I was young, uh, I was lucky enough, uh, well, when I was, before uh, things happened, uh, lucky enough to have my parents uh, tuck me in bed and, and read me a, a nighttime story or a Bible story, and um, I was lucky with that. A lot of parents today, and I'm not, I'm not dogging any parent. I'm just saying a lot of parents today, you know, uh, go off and do what they want to do, and that they, those kids got that Xbox or uh, PlayStation or whatever, and uh, iPad, whatever, and they're you don't know what they're doing on there, and uh, you don't know if anything that they see on there is going to affect how they are. Okay, social media is a double-edged sword. Um, it can be good and it can be bad. So, uh, anyway, um, 
you know, uh, bullying is not the, the parent's responsibility to go, uh, the child that's being bullied, to for the parents to go to that uh, bully's parents. And th that's the school's responsibility to take care of that situation. Uh, there's no need uh, to confront, Chloe, honey, come here. There's no need uh, to confront um, the parents about it. You know, th that's the school's responsibility to take care of that, okay? Um, <clears throat> you know, in the last resort, uh, consider switching schools. Well, if you do that, um, you know, the child's going to think, well, I, I did something wrong. So, mom and dad sent me to, or mom or dad uh, sent me to another school. You've got to realize these kids, uh, they're a sponge. They're a sponge. They... They they take ev they absorb everything, okay? They absorb everything. TV, social media, um, you know, uh, I mean, they absorb everything, okay? It it's it's meant to be, uh, it's meant to be for me not to have a child because, like I said, I'm just way too protective. But anyway, um, notice a change in your child, and uh, notice that uh, any 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 slight little an ordinary uh, thing they do, you know, no appetite, um, you know, their head's always hung down, and uh, they're not very talkative, okay, okay, hold on, Chloe, there you go, go on, go on, honey, you're okay, but anyway, um, there's just so much uh, here, and this is just grade school I'm talking about, okay, so um, high school, totally, totally more intense, uh, than, uh, grade school. Uh, you see all over social media where, uh, these, uh, te uh, teenage people, uh, teenage kids, uh, post, uh, fights on TikTok and on, uh, YouTube and, and, uh, beating up another student, you know, uh, where are the, where are the parents and where are the, the school, uh, administrators or teachers? Well, you know, I've got to kind of take up for the teachers on this part because, Nowadays, in schools, the kids can say whatever they want to to teachers, and teachers have to take it. You know, I have a degree in, uh, that I could teach school and PE and health. Um, I couldn't tolerate that disrespect. I, I couldn't do it. So, you know, I, I just couldn't do it, so I choose not to do it. But what I'm saying is um, bullying uh, even happens uh, as adults. Uh, we all know that. <laughs> And uh, bullying uh, can even happen um, at a nursing home, you know, by a, by a caretaker. Um, you know, you can, uh, now, I, I have uh, firsthand experience on this one. Um, you know, your caretaker at the nursing home, uh, when you're not uh, maybe uh, uh, up to par on your health or maybe Alzheimer's, um, you know, these, these people, not everyone that works at nursing homes, but these people um, have stolen medication, have um, uh, treated you badly, uh, you know, when they had to bathe you, uh, you guys need to find another line of work, uh, because uh, I'm a very big advocate of the elderly, and speaking of the elderly, we had a recent uh, incident, uh, which a high-rise here in Ironton, Ohio, uh, was, the elevator was broke uh, for over a month, okay, these people couldn't get down uh, downstairs uh, to get to their doctor's appointments. And, uh, you know, they're 83, 84, 85 and older. Um, had to walk uh, four flights of steps. He was on the WSAZ Channel 3 News, uh, uh, which is in Huntington, uh, West Virginia. But it, it's a local news channel. And, um, you know, you see on the, on the news uh, that a lady had to drop her pass key down to the news lady to come in. Where was the fire marshal? Where was the fire marshal? Okay? You got a, a four-story building with all elderly people in it. Uh, why is there not a, a fire department a official or a firefighter or a truck uh, with uh, somebody sitting out in front of that high-rise in case anybody needed help? Where was the police department? Was the police outside there? I don't think so. You know what? Um, I like to call this uh, whole entire thing uh, about the elderly, and I'm then I'm going to shut up, okay? Because I'm 
I'm kind of in an aggravated mood. And that's my privilege. But anyway, um, you know, the elderly, um, oh my God, um, these, these people, these men and women, um, that maybe have no family, you know, can you imagine, uh, being stuck in your apartment and, um, not having access to go to the store, uh, even if you have to walk to save a lot with your own buggy or even, um, you know, who checked on these people? Who checked on these people for over a month? And you can talk to your local uh, politicians or authorities about it, and they don't say much about it. But, you know, like I said, where was the fire marshal? Um, and why wasn't it in the news before it was after a month that the high-rise uh, had no elevator? Okay? The parts were there to fix it all along. Okay? Why wasn't it fixed? Why wasn't it fixed? Who prevented that elevator from being fixed? Well, I know one thing. If that would have been my uh, mother or grandmother in there, I would have busted the door in to get to them. And, uh, but you, uh, no, no, nobody said anything about it. And it was on the news and it's, they said it's fixed. And I, I, I know it's fixed, but the parts were there for the three weeks three and a half weeks, four weeks, um, to fix the elevator. But the company did not come and fix it. Now, I'm not going to speculate. I'm not going to speculate. But there's a problem there. <laughs> there there's a problem there. Um, so anyway, I will be getting back uh, to this uh, situation with the high-rise. And um, I will be continuing the, uh, the bullying um the high school bullying uh, is a lot more extensive than the, the grade school. But what really is important that the grade school uh, kids, um, to be a bully in grade school, you have to see something at home that makes you be a bully. No, no, no child that has uh, correct parenting, and by, I'm, I don't have any kids, so I'm saying, but I, I've studied it, I know it, and I experienced it when I was a cop. I'm just saying... Um, what those kids see at home, they will do at school. Now, if I'm lying, you can, you can uh, correct me on that. What your kid experiences at home, they will do at school. So, it all comes back to the parents. Yep, you. It comes back to you guys, you know. Um, you, can, you can search it. You can look it up. It all comes back to the parents. Their atmosphere at home will be their become their atmosphere at school. Okay? So anyway, I'll get back here in a little bit. Um, and this is Beth Riss from Orange, Ohio. And uh, I appreciate all the prayers and everything. I'm doing better. I feel great. I, uh, it's just the third thing. But um, I will get back here in a couple hours. i uh, got some other things to discuss. And uh, thank you so much. Uh, God bless. Beth Rist, Art in Ohio.